What's up YouTubers and we're back with the N54. We got two new exciting products right here. We have DEI's stainless steel locking straps and we have DEI's locking tool. We're gonna use these straps and this tool to secure the fiberglass heat shield on the outlet. And also I picked up some random hose clamps. Okay, people, so what's on the agenda for today? So, we're gonna replace these zip ties with the locking ties I just showed you guys. And we have a few things to tighten on this side of the motor. For example, this motor mount has to get locked in. The O2 sensors have to get locked in. We're gonna lock in the exhaust clamps. And also, we're gonna lock in the intakes. Um, that's where those hose clamps are gonna come in handy. And then, down here, we have a damaged connector for the water pump. I'm gonna solder on a new connector and then get that plugged in. And once we do all of that, all of that, I believe the motor is ready to come off of the stand, people. That's exciting news. So we're gonna take the motor off the stand, we're gonna put it on a dolly, and then back here, we're gonna replace the rear main seal. Make sure the clamp is actually seated on the downpipe and the turbo. So we're getting a little feedback now. Right there, 3.5. Feels pretty darn secure on there. All right, O2 sensors. I'm just gonna use my judgment. I don't really need a torque spec for O2 sensors. Tight is tight. Last episode, you guys remember I put some uh, copper shield on the threads here in case in the future we gotta replace these guys. It won't give us such a hard time to get removed. I was thinking to myself, it ain't that warm. I said it's gonna be 54 on uh, Tuesday, so Tuesday I might, I might come straight home and try to work on this a little bit. Take advantage of the weather. All right, we got both primaries locked in. So now we gotta take care of this, uh, this motor mount engine mount to engine support arm it's claiming 56 newton meters that's a lot so we're gonna pull out this guy so this thing wasn't tight at all 50 56. The motor mount is in there. All right, so what is there to do next? Change these zip ties to uh, locking ties. Right, so draw the zip tie close. And this is the locking head, so you want to twist away from it. Side of the slot, go put the slot in there, and then you start turning away, and that pulls it tighter. I don't want to collapse the silicone, like I said, just snug enough to hold it. So that's good. It's kind of moving a little bit, I'll just do a little bit tighter. All right, that's good right there. 
Okay, I'm going to use my cutters and I'm going to cut off the end. Then I'm going to use the needle nose and fold the edge like that. It's done. I'm going to cut off this zip tie. It's not necessary anymore. Should be able to remove this zip tie as well. Okay, zip ties off. I'm gonna cut off this coaxing tie, which is no good. And then we gotta open up this insulation some. Okay, now you guys can see I have both of the wires overlapping in the middle. In the middle is where you see that silver band. That's actually the solder point. So now all I have to do is heat this up. It should solder and heat shrink the wire at the same time. I'll try to keep the heat away from the one that I already did. it was successful. Okay, my fellow YouTubers, the engine has successfully made it off the stand and onto the floor. Now, we are going to unbox this uh, flywheel and clutch setup 
and right over there is the rear seal you can see it's quite a bit of oil back here so we're gonna clean this up and change that seal right there okay my youtubers so the first step is I'm gonna try to clean um, all this debris back here just gonna try to clean it as best as I could it don't have to be perfect but we can make it a lot better than the way it is right now so I'm just using a, a brass wire brush and I uh, have some uh, brake cleaner here just try to get some of the big stuff out Okay, now we got the, the rear of the motor nice and clean. Wow, what a difference that made. It seems to me that this Lucas brake cleaner is a lot more potent than this, um, this Weaver brake cleaner because as I was spraying, it was just like shooting stuff out of there. Okay, that part is done. Now is the tricky part. You need to remove this seal without damaging the metal around it the crankshaft or the aluminum so um, I'm gonna try to uh, see if I can remove this okay so flathead works it's just coming out pretty thick compared to the one that the guy gave me so I may have the wrong seal that's a problem you see the difference so maybe somebody at BMW made a mistake oh boy so this is gonna be a setback can't do nothing else until I get this part <laughs> 